All right, so today in this unboxing, we're going to be solving a problem that I that has really been frustrating me, to say the least. Now, the main problem I have with this setup right here that you're looking at is I have a top-down camera pointed down. I have a angle, my A camera right here. I also have a device off to the side, which is my Tascam 8 or X8, portable X8, whatever you want to call it. And that records the audio from this microphone, which allows me to have 32-bit float. The problem is sometimes I forget to hit record on there or sometimes I'll think it's recording and it's not recording or I just don't have the audio for whatever reason. 99.99% .99 of the time when I don't have the audio is using error. But the problem is I don't realize I don't have the audio until I'm sitting down ready to start editing and then I'm in a frenzy because now I got to either recut that whole video again or I have to use the scratch audio, which isn't that bad because this is the Rode podcast. What is it? The Rode Pro or however you say it on top of this camera right here that I'm using for scratch audio, but still is not as good as the quality that you get with this microphone right here. So to solve that problem, I picked up this right here. So let's talk about it. All right, so this is the Sony XLR K3M. Honestly, the only downside I see to this, and these are some of this is everything that comes in a box, but the only downside I see to this microphone right here is it doesn't have 32-bit flow. But to make my workflow easier and to stop having to redo my audio, I will happily give up 32-bit flow in this specific setting because I really don't need it. So with that being said, let's open it up. Oh, okay. I like this unboxing. So we can put this to the side. I'll let you look inside the box with me. You can see there's nothing up in there but documentation. A lot of documentation. And we can see that the box is empty. This is all the documentation that it comes with. And if you've watched any of these unboxings by now, you know I'm not going to read it. This right here is the actual device itself. I like the case that it come in, but honestly, this is just gonna live at this station right here. So this right here is the beauty. It has the XLRs, which we have, it gives us two inputs. We have the one and we have two, which is an awesome thing. The other one it gives, and the cool thing about it is, it's connected by the hot shoe mount. So no more charging or no more having to worry about if it's charged or if my microphone is gonna go out. It's just an all around win for me. To be honest, this is a cable that I'm assuming that extends this right here. So I'm assuming this, if I wanted to extend it out, that's what this is for, but I honestly don't want to do that. This is an XLR. Oh, this is the microphone. It's very light. I mean, this, this piece right here is the heaviest out of this whole microphone. I don't know how I would like that, but I guess this is here to hold right here so we can open that up and put this like here put it like so and then we have our audio and then we can plug this into the first input but seeing as how I'm not going to be using this microphone I'm not going to do that so I'm going to just leave this in a box maybe I can take this and use it for something else if the audio sounds good enough this right here is the dead cat that comes with it. This is just for making sure that you muffle wind sounds. What I've learned is if you're if you're in an indoor place, you shouldn't have this on. This because this muffles your voice. It gives you that muddy voice sound. They definitely don't make it easy to go on, but this is how it would look. And again, if I'm indoors, I will have that off. The only time I will use that is if I'm outside and I'm concerned about the wind. Other than that, I will rock it just like this. Now, this right here is an extension cable. So basically, I feel like I could put this into my, this is like an extension cable to use this. I guess it extends this if you need it, but honestly, I don't need anything up in here. The only thing that I want is this baby right here. So this other stuff right here, this is gonna sit on the top of the shelf. Maybe if I'm going somewhere and I need to travel with it, then I'll grab this and use it. But other than that, I won't be using that. On this side of the device, we have digital and analog. We can set it to select input. We have N3 through N1, and these are the channels. 
I'll have to figure out what that setting do because I'm assuming that it's on input. So I'm assuming that's input. So yeah, it's input. So these control the levels. So for me, my input is going to be one, which is going to be right here, which is how I'm able to change, change my gain and things like that. Turn it up. I know I'm not going to have it on auto. I'm going to have it on manual because I don't want it adjusting my gain by itself. I definitely don't want that. And up here, we have it at 10 plus dB, 20 plus dB. We have mic or line in. So the third input, I'm assuming, because this is one and two. And okay, so right off to the corner, I don't know if you could see it on here, but right off to the corner, this right here is the third input. And this is the input for the camera. So you have the input right here for the camera. So I could plug this into the camera, but I don't have to do that because this right here is a hot shoe mount, which means once I plug it in, it's going to automatically give me audio. So let's see if I turn it. There you go, because it locks in. So once you put it on and you turn this, it's locked on and you can't get that off. So you got to unscrew this, then it comes right off. So this is what I'm going to be using moving forward. And we can just put this on the camera right now just to get a sense of what it's going to be like to use this. Hopefully, I'm really hoping I don't mess up my audio, but let's see. All right, so I'm now using the Sony connection, the K3M or whatever it's called. I put the box up, but I had a little problem getting this set up. For one, I had to take the cage off my camera right here. With the cage on, you can't use it. So if you're a person who loves having a cage on your camera, it's not going to work with the cage on that. Even with the extended cable that came in the box, it didn't work for me. So I had to take the cage off. And because this camera doesn't go anywhere, I'm okay with not having a cage on it. The other thing is there's no headphone jack on this. Like, it's mind-boggling. Over 600 bucks for this thing, and you can't check your audio. I don't like that. Now, maybe I overlooked it. I have been known to do that in my unboxings, but this time I'm pretty sure I didn't overlook it. However, if you look right here, this is everything that it replaces. It replaces my Tascam Portable X8, which is the audio you've been listening to lately. It replaces the cloud lifter for this microphone because, fun fact, I spent the better part of 30 minutes trying to figure out why this was coming in so hot. Like, how come I couldn't adjust it? The moment I unplugged this from the cloud lifter, so if I connect it, you know, normally you connect this microphone to a cloud lifter and then you run it to this device. So that way you will have plenty of audio. The problem with that is, with this microphone connected to this cloud lifter going through that Sony device, it comes through way too loud, way too hot. So I could say, talking like I am now, I was peaking. It took me the better part of 30 minutes to realize, just unplug the cloud lifter and see if that fixes the problem. And it did. So, yeah, if you got a cloud lifter for this, you won't need it with this device up here. And then it also replaces this stuff. So SD cards, all of this stuff is getting replaced by that $600 device. Now, with that being said, I kind of like that because I wanted this back in my bag anyway, because this is my portable podcast station and I have another podcasting microphone. So if I know I'm going out and I'm going to be podcasting, then I take that set up with me and it is super duper simple to set up. So it, this gives me back my 32 bit flow. Now, this microphone is not 32 bit flow and that device that is running into doesn't offer me 32 bit flow. So that's the only downside to it. So hopefully I talk long enough so you can get a, you know, hear the difference in the microphone and hopefully you didn't hear the difference in the microphone so that I'm not losing any sound quality or if I am, I hopefully the sound quality is going up. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Till next time, later. I must say, before I end this video, it is very satisfying not having to push record on here and not having to dump out three SD cards. Now only got the top down as the top down SD card and the camera A SD card. No more three SD cards I have to dump. That right there is worth it to me.